In a specific topic of the Singapore bus industry, we have the right to voice out our opinions. Our thoughts, suggestions and ideas are essential for everyone to hear. It's for our future public buses, good amendments and withdrawals. We should not be keeping quiet but brave in our voices. Got anything to share, thoughts or suggestions? This is Hashtag Debate. In this episode of Hashtag Debate, DME will bring up a very annoying topic that we bus enthusiasts and even bus captains can relate their everyday life as Singaporeans. For example, if you thought your journey was slower, commuters not flagging the bus but still wanting to board is even annoying. We found a Facebook post by Buses in Singapore about the issue and let DME share both thoughts. Can some bus captains slow down or horn at the passengers? It's not like the damn next bus app is 100% accurate. Okay, okay, that's enough. These cases had happened since 2017, when commuters missed the bus and complained to the relevant bus operator. I hope. For instance, between 2019 to 2021, SMRT buses received quite a more significant complaint regarding a similar incident to what we share. Out of which, 68% of these cases are the bus captain's fault where they are pretty observant by slowing down, approaching the bus stop bay very slowly. Some even opened and closed the front door and left. And yet, the complaint happened. In the early days, commuters relied on the road traffic at the bus stop and saw if their buses were approaching. While waiting, they were not glued to their phones, unlike today. Yes, we had to see both sides. Under Singapore law, it is advisable to slow down to 25 km per hour when reaching the bus stop bay. Some bus captains were only alert to some bus stops if commuters were waiting for the bus they were taking. Due to the consequences, if a bus captain repeats the same mistake that drives off commuters who are supposed to take their bus, almost all bus captains in Singapore are trained to be observant and slow down to the acceptable speed when approaching the bus stop. Well, almost but not all bus captains practice this method. Even if they do, they still get complaint to the bus operator because the bus captain is trying to attempt to lead the commuters away from the bus stop even when the commuters on board the bus. Well, there is only one wish every bus captain would like Singaporeans to make, and that is FLAT THE BUS! Back in the past, our parents then the school had taught us how to flat down for the bus. It's almost the same as how you want to board the TC on the road by flagging down the TC. The same thing to buses. If you want to board the bus, all you have to do is to flat down. Okay, because humans nowadays are always glued to their phones. The only way a bus captain can alert you is by heading into the bus stop bay or high beam. In 2018, there was a complaint by a commuter to SMRT buses the bus captain of service 8 final A honked at the commuter, where she was only honked with minimal pressure as an alert if the commuter wanted to board her bus. DME agrees that both parties need to work it out. Some bus captains needed to be more carefully observant if anyone else was chasing the bus before they closed the door and departed. Even when the bus is sticking out of the bus stop bay to the main road, bus captains aren't allowed to open the doors for many passengers due to safety regulations for other motorists and bus captains as stated under the law. Also, as stated, do not run after a moving bus due to the bus spot that bus captains have to focus on the offside mirror. At the same time, commuters also need to play their part in flagging down the bus when their bus is approaching. Remember, bus captains are not the strange, and bus captains need to be carefully observant at all times when approaching and departing the bus stop. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching this is episode of Hashtag Debate. Do join our Discord server. The link is in the description down below. Fire, fire.